Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day so far. So today, as I speak to you right now, I think I am in Europe. I really hope I'm in Europe. Um, I think I'll be in Amsterdam, but I might be on my way to Croatia by now. Um, but I'm about to be in Europe, and I thought I would share with you what I'm going to be packing in my travel makeup and beauty bags. So if you would like to find out more, please do keep on watching. I've got my big bag of products here and don't judge me because it's Barbie. This like this has like been through a lot with me basically. It's been to a lot of places with me. Um and it served me well. So I ain't got no time for any like fancy bags. This is this is how it goes. <laughs> And I also wanted to let you guys know that I do have a discount code for Life Before Work Travel Tours if you guys would like to go on a very similar tour to me. They do so many different trips. Mine is personally going to be going around Croatia. It's like a party boat. Um, you go sort of like from island to island and you just have like different parties every night. But mine's only a week long, but they have so many other amazing, amazing trips like um, to like Peru and to Indonesia and Bali and like all these amazing different trips even to Spain and to like Greece and Turkey so many amazing trips um, and if you would like to check out their trips down below and book something similar I do have discount codes for you guys so if you put the code Stephanie May into like the checkout at the end of the process um, you'll be able to get $50 off if you book a trip that is less than three weeks and $100 off if you book a trip that is more than three weeks so they do have some really really long ones but they also have some short ones as well so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check that out all the links will be down in the description below and let's get into this video so I'm going to start off first of all by going through the sort of skincare and hair products and like things like that that I'm going to be bringing with me, just the basic body, body basics. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to start with skincare, so let me get started. So first of all, for skincare, obviously traveling can be a really hard time for your skin. Um, I know that like airplanes for me really dry me out. So um, if I didn't bring my like go-to sort of skincare, I think I would be in a lot of trouble. So <laughs> I'm going to be bringing with me all of my Real You products. You guys know I've been using this stuff for like nearly a year now. So I'm bringing the cleanse, the control and the hydrate um, because honestly I just don't think that my skin could handle all the transitions if I didn't bring this with me because I used to have really bad skin and this stuff sort of like fixed it up. So. I'm going to be taking this with me. So secondly, I'm going to be bringing along um, some fake tan. So obviously I'm a little bit browner than usual, as you can see. Um, this is the first time in my life that I have ever used the um, dark from Bondi Sands. I've always been so intimidated by like dark products, but this time I was like, you know what? Everyone else is going to be tan. I'm going to have to like pretend that I'm tan at least. So um, I have last night put on this because I wanted to look like I was already there in these videos. Um, I have put on the Bondi Sands self turning foam in dark. Um, I love Bondi Sands, it is my go-to. Um, I'm also bringing a mitt, but it is drying in the bathroom right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is in dark. I usually use the light to medium, but I honestly, it's my favorite tan. It just comes off so easily without looking blotchy, so it is definitely gonna be my go-to. Um, and I've actually sticky taped also the inside of it and the outside of it. So anything that I thought would leak, I've gotten sticky tape and I've just gone absolutely like nuts around that. So bringing this because you know, essential for someone who doesn't tan. <laughs> um, and then also I am bringing along the Bondi Sands Everyday SPF Gradual Tanning Milk. So this stuff is what got me through my last Euro trip last year. And I actually thought I'd gotten a tan and then turns out this stuff just gradually had made me look like I got one and I was just like deceived in my own head. Um, but also because this has SPF 15, it's gonna be some extra coverage to my skin. So I thought this would be a good idea. And also because it's a gradual tan, it'll be a really easy way to sort of like keep um, my tan lasting longer because I'll just like, keep on putting this on um, every night before I go to sleep. Then on that note, I have also brought along some aloe mist um, after sun spray. This one's by Banana Boat. This is necessary for me because I very easily become a tomato. Um, I know that the European sun though last year strangely didn't really affect me. I could be in the sun for ages and it wouldn't affect me, but here in Australia, like 10 minutes and I am red as anything. So I thought I'd bring this just in case um, because, you know, who wants to be sunburnt on a holiday? So yeah. And then for a shower cream, I have brought along the Lord of Misrule um, shower cream by Lush. This isn't my favorite, but it was like the only one that I haven't really opened yet. Um, so I'm gonna be bringing that one along. It's the perfect size for travel. If you guys are looking for like shower creams and stuff, get one from Lush for travel because they are so compact and little and cute. And I've also, once again, sticky taped all around there because you know, green is not really the ideal color to be leaking out into your baggage, so yeah. Obviously, I'm packing a razor because I gotta be smooth all over there. 
And then for Sheffield conditioner, I'm bringing these Di Lorenzo um, small little mini travel ones. Um, I've never used Di Lorenzo shampoo and conditioner before, but it says as well that it gently cleanses coloured hair and protects from UV fade. So the fact that I'm going to be in the sun so much, I saw these and I was like, yes, because I need protection from that UV because, as you know, UV protection, UV protection. Oh yeah, and another UV protection. <laughs> I'm also bringing some La Roche-Posay um, 50 Plus High Protection Comfort Cream. It's just like non-perfumed um, cream and 50 Plus, that's incredible, so yeah. Then I've just got a couple of little things that are going to actually be in my um, carry-on baggage and that is a Dove Invisible Dry um, Roll-On Deodorant. I hate Roll-On Deodorant so, so much, but um, I feel that it's kind of better to, like it's more compact and it's easier, so that's what's going to be getting me through this whole trip, sadly. Um, and then my dentist was actually kind enough to give me some little like mini toothpastes. So if you guys are ever at your dentist, be like, hey, hey, I'm going traveling soon. Um, so I have two little Colgate toothpastes and a new toothbrush to take with me. Then also for my carry-on baggage, I am bringing the Galan Midnight Secret um, Late Night Recovery Treatment. I feel like my skin's gonna be really like hectic and I think that the Real You products might be a little bit too much to bring on the plane. 100 mils. I don't really want to risk it, so I'm just going to bring this along with me for on the plane. Um, apparently this is like a really amazing like treatment and just makes your skin sort of like more alive and like rejuvenate, so this will be my little like mid-flight treatment. Next, obviously, I'm going to be bringing my Clear Correct. Um, my teeth are currently getting straightened by Clear Correct. I don't have them on right now because I can't talk this quickly with them in. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be bringing my last plate and my current plate is going to be in my mouth. But I'm going to bring my last plate just in case I lose my new plate. Um, and I'm just going to carry them around in my carry-on. But I thought this is sort of similar to, you know, what's in my makeup bag because, you know, beauty related, I suppose. Next up for my hair, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I honestly have the most intense knotty hair of my existence, of the whole world. Like, you would not believe how knotty my hair gets. I get dreadlocks within like two days. If I don't continuously brush it like morning and night, I will actually get dreadlocks. I have spent hours getting dreadlocks out of my hair before, so I'm really not sure how this is going to go um, with the sun and the water and the like swimming situation so I thought I should bring along something to like fix that so I've got the bio silk silk therapy um, original this stuff I've used before and was really really good for detangling so I'm gonna definitely try that because my hair is definitely gonna need some detangling um, on this trip um, and then I've also gotten myself two of the tangle teasers now tangle teasers are literally the only brush that I find that can actually get my knots out easily. Um, they're so gentle and I lose so little hair with them, whereas if I use a bigger brush I lose a lot of hair, it just tears the hair out. So I've got this one, this is the big one that I'm going to take in my like main luggage. Um, and then I've got this little travel one as well which sort of like comes off here and that's going to go on my carry-on because yeah, I'm going to definitely be needing to brush my hair quite often. So. Yeah. Now moving on to makeup. For my face, I'm going to be bringing a few options. I'm first of all going to bring one foundation primer, and that is going to be the Laura Mercier um, Radiance Foundation Primer. Um, this one has like a really nice glow to it, and I think a whole point of this trip, like I feel like European vibes, like in the sun, you just want to be like glowing from the inside out. So I think a really glowy foundation primer is going to be so perfect for that. So I'm definitely bringing this along. I probably won't wear it too often though, because once I'm in the water, what's the point in makeup basically, but still for like lots of nights out and days exploring this is going to be great. I am bringing two options for foundations, when I say foundations I kind of more mean tinted moisturizers and CC creams. So I'm bringing the, once again, Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer. This has an SPF of 20, which is going to be incredible. And it's just a really, really light coverage. So that's going to be great for like days where I don't really want to put much effort in. Um, and then for the days that I do want to put a bit more effort in, I'm actually wearing it right now. The It Cosmetics CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. This one has 50 plus SPF, so that is incredible. Like the sun is not penetrating this face when this is on this face, basically. <laughs> So yeah, this is like a medium colour and it's not a colour that I could ever wear normally. So now that I'm fake tanned, it actually like works perfectly. So this is going to be for like clubbing at night. This is going to be for like, you know, daytime explorations. Um, yeah, I am very excited for this. For concealer, I'm only bringing one and it is going to be the Born This Way um, concealer by Too Faced. Um, I'm bringing it in the lighter shade, which is very fair. I'm not planning on using it too intensely though, just like the tiniest bit in the, like the corners of my eyes to wake myself up because... 
I have a feeling I'm going to be a little bit hungover for a lot of this trip, so yeah. This is going to be very necessary. For powder, I really didn't want to bring a loose powder, but then when I really looked at all my powders, I thought this one was going to be the best option possible. Um, this is the NARS Translucent Translucent um, Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. So light reflecting is a good thing. Um, it's going to make me not look oily, but it's also so incredibly light on the skin that it actually lets sort of like your own skin shine through. So it's not going to really like hold you back. Um, and the fact that it is so light is why I chose it. So. Yeah, this is going to be getting me through and I really, really hope that this doesn't like get spilled all over my stuff because that would just be a disaster. For cheeks, I'm bringing only one palette and it is going to be the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. I used to wear this all the time for my skin when it was just like a everyday sort of makeup look. Um, it has the most incredibly natural sort of colours in there. This bronze is just very, very natural and minimal. The blush looks super, super flushed. Like, it doesn't make you look like you're wearing blush. It makes you look like you're flushed. I'm wearing it on my cheeks at the moment, too. Um, it's just a really sort of, like, natural flush look, basically. And the highlight in this is incredible as well. I really, really love this. I just re-got another one. I've already used up a whole one of these before. Um, and the highlight is just, like, so naturally gorgeous and just makes you look like you have this really, like, natural sort of like glow about you so yeah then i'm only bringing one eyeshadow palette and i'm bringing the tiny um totally cute Too faced palette i'm not sure if this is out yet i think it's like just come out possibly and it just sort of has like a few basic shades that would be necessary um i feel like i won't really need any more than this and i feel like personally i'm probably not even gonna wear eyeshadow at all this whole trip but just in case um it's very compact and very little so i thought i would put that in there just in case for mascara, I am bringing along the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. It's not my favourite mascara, but it's waterproof and that's what you need while you're in the ocean, I guess. Um, I do quite like it. I think this is one of the mascaras that like it grows on you after a while. And you know how when you first use a mascara, you kind of have to give it a few goes and let it like sort of air out a little bit before it becomes like a really good mascara. So it's starting to grow on me, but it's still not my fave. Um, but I've also brought along um, the Sephora Mini of their, like, oh, what is it called? Outrageous Curl. Um, this is like a mini that I got one time in a little package of the Outrageous Curl by Sephora, and it just gives like the most incredibly long lashes. And because I'm not going to be bringing false lashes, and if I'm like at a club or something like that, I want to have some good lashes on me. So this is my little like go to just in case for that. Then I'm just going to make a little mention for one particular night on this whole cruise. One of the nights is actually a um, fluoro party, so it's like a glow party where everyone wears like fluoro colours and stuff. So I'm actually bringing with me, we'll see how this goes, um, Schwarzkopf Live Colour Pastel Spray. So this is bright pink hairspray and I'm going to attempt to like half do my hair pink for the night because you know like fluoro, might as well have fluoro hair, why not? Um, but yeah, bringing that along for the ride. And then for that night as well, I'm also bringing the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade 1998. So this is like super, super pink and it's going to be like so perfect for that. Um, and then also on top of that, I'm bringing this bright blue um, eyeliner. It is the Sketch Marker and the colour name is Soccer Players Are Hot. Well, I do agree. I do agree. And I'm not sure if you can see it on my hand, but I was testing it before. It's just like a super, super bright blue um, sort of like eyeliner. And I'm going to hopefully do something with this on the fluoro night as well. So we're going to be contrasting. And I've also brought the same one in a black. And the name of that one is You're So Too Faced. Oh my God, I love these. <laughs> then on top of that for lips, I'm actually bringing a few lip products. And they're all kind of like the same colors, but like I don't care. Um, first of all, obviously, I need to bring something to like keep my lips moisturized. And my go-to is always Lena Lips. This one is the pear flavor. It is delicious. Um, Lena Lips is like my favorite like lip product. It just does not fail ever. So yeah, that's going in my carry-on luggage as well. And then I'm bringing the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector, which I'm wearing right now, which is just a really like soft and um, light sort of lip gloss that really blends in well with your natural lip color and it's absolutely gorgeous. Then I'm bringing a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick which is a very sort of like beigey basic color which I feel like will be perfect for when I am sort of like going out on the town and things like that and it is the shade Penelope Pink. Finally for brows I am bringing my Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit um, and the um, Gimme Brow by Benefit as well so they are going to be keeping my brows in place. 
And then finally for perfume, I am the type of person who really likes to connect a experience to a smell. You guys like know I'm obsessed with perfumes, um, but I really like to have a specific smell that I can like smell and then be straight away like taken back to that time. So I am going to be bringing a brand new perfume that I've just received. Um, it is the Givenchy um, Live Irresistible perfume. So this smells so beautiful. And I think it's like only just coming out or it hasn't come out yet. It's very, very soon to come out in Australia, but it is so perfect for summer. It's just sweet and like fresh and pretty. I don't even know. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like it's going to be so appropriately matched to my trip. So I'm very excited to be covering myself in this scent while I'm there. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to follow me on all my social media because right now as you watch this, I am like traveling the globe and like having a mad time, probably in Amsterdam maybe at the moment. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be uploading these in what order. Um, but yeah, please don't forget to follow me, Snapchat, Instagram, all that jazz. If you'd like to find out more about the trips overseas um, with Life Before Work, go down to the description box down below and I'll have all the information down there if you wanna get discounts off the trips. Um, get $50 off for ones that are less than three weeks and a hundred dollars off for ones that are more than three weeks so yeah definitely go check that out and don't forget to follow me and i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and week and i shall see you guys very very soon goodbye um today i'm going to be doing a haul for you guys and it is a absolutely huge sephora haul and when i say huge i'm like i actually mean humongous like this is how big the bag is <laughs>